All right, March Madness is upon us finally. I'm really excited um, for March Madness, obviously, and I'm just going to go through my bracket here. I've been thinking about it for the past night, and I really think that this could be the perfect bracket. I mean, I'm feeling pretty comfortable about this one this year, so we're going to go into it, and I'm starting in the East region. Obviously, UConn's going to take down Stenson. That's just um, a matchup where, you know, UConn, obviously, they're coming off winning uh, the national championship last year. I have them. I will take FAU over Northwestern. I don't think Northwestern is as strong as a team as they are have been projected. I think a lot of people have them in this game. FAU, obviously, you have to remember, Final Four team last year. So I'm going to be taking them. Uh, when we go to the San Diego State game, I'm going to have them again. Like I said, Final Four team last year. Have had their moments, and that's why I'm going with them. And through this first section, no upsets. Auburn, really solid SEC team, coming off obviously winning the uh, SEC uh, tournament championship. I think they could be a really solid team as we go down into this. Um, also, no upsets through we go t- as we go through this. Um, I think we got to take BYU here. I yeah, BYU. I'll take there. Illinois. Coming off winning the Big Ten uh, Tournament Championship. This is a team that is going to have a shot to go actually go pretty far in this thing. But I have them at the moment. Staying with no upsets, I like Washington State. Uh, Drake is a team that you could maybe pick. I could see a way where you could. But Washington State had a very like sneaky good year in the um, Pac-12 Tournament. So I'm going to go with them, and then I'm going to roll with Iowa State after that. And then going to the West region. Going to have North Carolina. Going to have them going. Michigan State, this is um, this is kind of tough here because I'll, for a while I was really thinking about going Mississippi State. But then Michigan State, probably the weakest team to go into the tournament if you're looking at their record. I think they were like 19-14. and 14. But at the same time, I like them in this matchup. Tom Izzo, one of the great college basketball coaches of all time. I just think they find a way to win this right here. I think they do. St. Mary's, obviously they won their conference. I got to go with them at this point. Alabama, this is where you you could see an upset here. Where Alabama, in some games, they've looked really good. They've been shaky in other spots. I am going to go with... The Crimson Tide, though. Um, And then if we go to this, New Mexico playing really good as of late. Clemson has their inconsistencies. That's why I'm going to go with New Mexico to win that game. Colgate, this is tough for me. Colgate, kind of a team on a bit of a rise. Obviously played really well. Were the clear cut to win their conference tournament. But I think there's enough in Baylor where I could see them getting this win. Then we go to Dayton, Nevada. Dayton, not playing that great as of recent. Going to go with Nevada here, and then Arizona over Long Beach State for me. We now go to the south region, and Houston's going to take down Longwood. That's something I got. Uh, I do have Texas A&M over Nebraska. I think Nebraska's honestly a weaker team this year. I think there's a lot of t- a handful of teams in the Big Ten that were a lot better than Nebraska, but they did have a decent record. They lost some kind of bad games down the stretch. We're going to go with them. Wisconsin's a team where I was going to have them going early no matter what. They got a really bad draw here. James Madison, believe a 31-3 and record, really rolling. Wisconsin, I just they've been really inconsistent all year. I don't see it from them. Going to go ahead and going to go with James Madison there. Then we go to Duke, Vermont. This is this is a tough spot for me, but I am going to go with Duke. I am going to go with Duke. Then we go to Texas Tech, NC State. And NC State, obviously rolling high, just won the ACC championship, but I think they are spoiled by Texas Tech, who's been a very solid team all year. Um, and this one I went back and forth on a lot, but I'm going to go with Texas Tech. You have Kentucky-Oakland. This is a game where Oakland could possibly make an upset. But Kentucky, 
they've been just like a wild team this entire year because some games they score like 110 points and they look crazy, and then some games they just struggle. They, their defensive struggles are there. But I'm going to go with Kentucky for now. Um, this is a tough one for me, but I think Florida's been consistent enough to the point where I'm, I'm able to take them in that game. Then I like Marquette over Western Kentucky. Expect this to be a closer game, though. Expect that to be a closer game. Purdue is not going to lose to I, I'm assuming that's going to be Grambling State who wins the that game but Purdue there's no way in my mind where they lose in the first round again so I'm going to go with them here I like Utah State over a pretty solid TCU team but I like uh yeah I like Utah State now this is tough for me I'm going to go with McNeese here I've had a really good year Gonzaga, wildly inconsistent. I could see them losing this game. Uh, I have Kansas, although they've been really struggling as of late. But I think I think they do enough to get to the second round. Oregon, South Carolina, really difficult for me. Really difficult for me. But I am going to go with Oregon in this spot. And then I'm going to go with Creighton. After that, I like Texas. I mean, there were chances that they had to go further in that Big 12 tournament. They didn't, but I I, I don't mind Texas. And then we go to Tennessee. Tennessee is definitely getting past St. Peter's. Now, mind you, though, St. Peter's did pull the big upset, I think, I want to say two or three years ago. And I think they went on a bit of a run, but not this year in my mind. So then we go to what would be the round of 32. And I have UConn over FAU. Not overthinking that. I have Auburn in that game. Give me Illinois. I think they're able to overpower BYU. Then this is tough for me. I could see Washington State pulling this upset. But I'm not going to go there. We go with Iowa State. They've been solid enough. I think they get that win. Uh, this is an easy North Carolina victory. And then I have St. Mary's over an inconsistent Alabama team. Or inconsistent, as I, I should um, say. And then I have a bit of a shocker here. I have New Mexico over Baylor. Baylor, there, there just hasn't been enough that I've seen. And New Mexico... This is that team of the tournament, I think, where they just have the, all the tools to go on a run. It's been a really talented team. I think that they should be able to get to the Sweet 16. Then Arizona, give me Arizona over Nevada. Then we go back up to this, and it's going to be Houston for me. And then this is a really tough, really tough shakeup for me where I could see James Madison going on this run. I could see James Madison going on this run. And, I th- yeah, I think James Madison takes down a very inconsistent Duke team that just has not been that good as of recent. Got upset early in their first game of the ACC tournament. We're going to go with James Madison. And then give me Kentucky, although they've been wildly inconsistent. Then give me Marquette. Then as we go to the Midwest region, Purdue will beat Utah State. This is Expect this to be a very close game. Give me Kansas. After that, this is tough. This is really tough. And I'm going to say... That we get Oregon and Tennessee. I'm gonna say we get Oregon and Tennessee is what is what I'm leading more towards at this point. Going to the Sweet 16. This game, this is a game where it could go either way, in my opinion. I think that you could. There are scenarios where UConn could lose to Auburn, but. 
I just think UConn would be too good to that point where I think they get this win. I think Illinois is able to beat Iowa State for sure. And then North Carolina, although inconsistent, I think you have enough there to get the win. And then although I think they'll give them a run for their money, I think Arizona advances to the Elite Eight. Going up here, Houston gets this win. And then Kentucky Marquette is a game where I think it really could go either way. But I think I'm going to go with Marquette in this spot. They've been a really good team this year, and Kentucky has just been inconsistent. So go with them. Give me Purdue over Kansas and give me Tennessee over Oregon. Now if we're going to the Elite Eight, I like UConn to be in the Final Four. Give me Arizona. Then Houston Marquette, I just I've liked what Houston has done so far within this year. To the point where I'm going to pick them here. And give me Tennessee. I just think Tennessee finds a way to beat Purdue. Obviously, I did think Tennessee was going to run the table in the SEC championship game. They didn't. But I think they got a shot to get to the Final Four. That's where I'm going to put them for now. And this would be a bit more typical. But I really think this is the way that it, it might just work out where you have UConn going back, you have Houston avenging kind of a rough turnout last year, going to the Final Four, Arizona and Tennessee. And I think you get UConn UConn back in the title game, and you have Houston as well. And I think that after all this, you go with Houston winning it all. And I'm going to say something like 120. And that'll do it for my prediction.